I, I don't know if you see what I see back here. This thing back here looks like a tree growing. Yeah, this isn't a tree. This, this thing is a weed. It's one of the biggest weeds that grows in this area. I don't know that scientifically, but you know I've seen these things around enough to know that, that these things are huge. But the, the thing is, they, they start out little. They just start out little. And uh, man, next thing you know, this thing's growing up next to your house. You don't even know that it was growing there. It's, it just drives me insane whenever I see these things. But, uh, you know, as I was walking down this alley here this morning, I got to think, I was thinking about families, I was thinking about husbands and wives, I was thinking about children, and, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like this. Marriages have that spark. The, the dating relationship has that spark right at the beginning. And, uh, but then things seem to fade, and you start to see each other's mistakes, you see each other's flaws, and uh, what once was love, you know, really sweet love, um, becomes embittered, it becomes less, and it becomes a job, and you, you've got to choose. And, you know, I, I got to think, we make these vows whenever you get married, saying, I'm here, I'm here for you till, till we die. And, um, but then, you know what, then there's this other element, and that's uh, children. And I feel like we have not taken that commitment for children, and uh, separation comes too easy nowadays, divorce comes too easy. And uh, if you look back behind me, the brick building back there, that brick building is uh, Iron Forge. It's a, a school for fourth and fifth graders. And I don't know how many families are splitting up when the kids are in fourth and fifth grade, but we got a lot of problems. We got a lot of problems in our schools, and we want to blame the schools. It's not the school's fault. You know what, parents? Let me uh, let me put this to you. If you need to spend thousands of dollars to figure out how to find that love you once had for each other. You need to be spending thousands of dollars for that, not thousands of dollars on a lawyer to figure out who can get the most amount of money. You know what, and if you're trying to do this stuff without God, it's you're wasting your time too. So, you know, find a good church. Um, you know, and I'm not even saying come to my church. I'm saying get, get a good church. But uh, you know what, right here, that's what's happening. Satan's invading our homes, it's invading our marriages. It starts out as this little plant and it ends up this right here right there. So, hey, thanks for taking two with Greg. Pass this thing on, if you will.